Okay, welcome to GBTV Live. This is Just In. I am your host, Dominique. And today we're going to mention a lot of great new uh, items that we have in our collection. I've actually got two new guests with us today. Um, but I'm going to start off with um, Miss Nikki. Um, she is from our kids space. She is a familiar face. Um, she is famous for our Facebook lives and um, STEM videos, all of that wonderful stuff. So I want to um, have her start talking and telling us some new wonderful things that we've got going in kids space. So Miss Nikki, how are you? Good, Dominique. I am all so right. happy to be here. Oh, you know, it, we just started summer, right? And, uh -huh. you know, I, I just started, I got I got off of my bike. I'm here at the library. I rode my bike to the library. And I came to check out this brand new book. It's called Joyride. And it's about an amazing girl named Joy who loves to bedazzle things. And she happens to find this bike. And let's just say at her grandfather's house. And let's just say she just makes it her own. I hope that everybody can appreciate her sparkly, amazing bike, but we'll have to see what happens. Check this out here at the library. It's a brand new pick by Sherry Dusky Rinker. Very cool. Now, if you're not feeling bikeish and you're feeling a little bit more waterish, take a dip with a famous snapping turtle named Alfonso. He's waving hi to you guys. Alfonso is hungry for breakfast and he loves telling stories about all of his escapades in the river, especially about all the things he catches when he goes fishing with his secret tongue. There's a secret in his tongue. I won't tell you, but let's just say, does he find breakfast? Does he get, does he eat it? I'll leave that up to you. You can check out this new pick in our early learning center. The author is John Hare. And we have one last book since we were talking about breakfast. And this is all about gardening. Miguel, this is Miguel. He is having a garden party. Aren't you guys getting hungry yet? And he is going to pick his sunflowers from his community garden. But it's a game of hide and seek because he just can't find them. He might find a few other things along the way, but he might need your help to find his sunflowers for his garden party. And the author of this book is Janae Brown Wood. So I hope you guys will check out some of these amazing books as we continue with the summer. And of course, sign up for summer reading. That's, oh, I love that. I love that when you tie that in. All right, Miss Nikki. And then just to let everyone know, how can they check them out? Is there options to checking them out? Can we explain that? Absolutely. And of course, here at Gail Borden, we have many options for checking out. So you can come in and you can say hi to people like me and Miss Dominique when you come visit us and check out our Wizard of Oz exhibit as well. And you can find the books on the shelf. You can also go onto our website and place a hold on it so that you can get it ready for you to pick up at one of our drive up windows at one of your nearby locations or you can get really high tech and download our app and do it all through your mobile device. Mm -hmm. And then of course, at the very end, you wanna make sure to track those reading points in your summer reading log. That's correct, that's correct. Awesome, well, thank you the famous Miss Nikki, everyone. We appreciate you being here with us today. All thank right, you for having me. wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna take it over to Adult Collection and this is a new face. You know, but they've been here for a little bit. And I appreciate them being on. Um, we have Sean, and he is our adult collection librarian. Hi, Sean. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Dominique? Oh, well, well, well. I'm I'm hearing that you've got some three good new collections that we have for our adult collections. Do you care to share that with our audience today? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the first pick that I have, it's a fun, you know, beach read, summer read. And it is The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand. And there, so it takes place in Nantucket and there's this hotel that was once a beautiful, popular tourist attraction. And unfortunately there was a tragic fire that, and a chambermaid sadly was killed during this fire and never overcame the bad reputation after that incident. 
Um, and now a new owner has purchased it and he's trying to renovate it, turn things around. And he's hired Nantucket native, Lizbeth Keaton, to be the general manager. So she's hoping to make it kind of the gem that it once was. Um, but as with any place where you're dealing with all kinds of people, there's good times, there's not so good times. And so she's hoping that she can just manage through it all and, and get them back on the map. Um, so it's a really fun book. And with that, you know, beautiful Nantucket Island scenery gets you right in the mood for summer. And this one came out on June 14th. Okay. Uh, with my next pick, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit and go with more of a suspense vibe. And this is More Than You'll Ever Know by Katie Gutierrez. Uh, it was the Good Morning America book club pick in June. So Cassie is an aspiring true crime journalist, and she stumbles across this article about an international banker named Dolores Rivera, and she was splitting her time between Texas and Mexico, and it turned out she decided to live a double life, and she had one husband in Mexico and one husband in Texas, and when one of the husbands is murdered, the other one is arrested for the crime and sent to prison. So Cassie thinks this could be her big, you know, her big story that can kind of get her, her career going. So she seeks out Dolores to see if she'd be willing to talk with her, get the full story. So why did Dolores live this double life? Did the one husband really kill the other? What's the full story here? Well, if you want to find out, you'll have to read more than you'll ever know by Katie Gutierrez. Oh, all right. And what's the third selection you have for us? The third one is Horse by Geraldine Brooks. It's based on a true story. It's historical fiction. And it kind of, she weaves two different time periods. So the present day and then like Civil War era, 1850s. And so in 2019, a graduate student finds this painting in his neighbor's garbage of a horse and um, and his trainer. And he decides to uh, take it to the Smithsonian to get it analyzed because he thinks there's something, something behind it. And it turns out it's the, one of the most famous racehorses in American history, Lexington. And the trainer in the picture is a young, uh, young man who was uh, a slave and who happened to be the trainer for the horse. And so he gets intrigued by this and is kind of wondering, you know, how does this uh, young slave end up being the trainer for this famous horse? And so then we kind of get sent back to the 1850s and we learn about this trainer, Jarrett, and his journey. So um, to learn more about that story and how they managed to even get into painting and kind of their journey through the as the country erupts in civil war, you'll have to check out Horse by Geraldine Brooks. Oh, wow. So those were three amazing choices, Sean. We really appreciate you. you. Um, now we're all intrigued and we're ready to put a hold on those books and pick a location, whether it's here or one of our branches mm -hmm. locations and get ready to find out what did happen. I wanna yes. know. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for all that great information and sharing. No problem. That. All right, Thanks so for having me. Oh, of course, of course. So we're going to go ahead and go to movies. So we've got, she's actually our seasoned guest here. So we appreciate uh, Tracy gracing, her, um, gracing us here at GBTV. So what new films we have in our collections that's going on? Oh, my goodness. Well, Dominique, yeah. <laughs> everybody, there are so many new things this month. It was difficult to decide what I was gonna cover, but since this is the movie bit, I'm gonna start out with a quote by saying, it is hotter than a toasted cheeser out there. And if you know what movie that's from, put it in the comments. Uh, so just like really cold winter nights, crazy hot summer days are an excellent time just to sit and chill. Why not with a good movie? So I chose a couple of things. We're gonna start out with this one called Uncharted. 
This one stars uh, heavy hitters like Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, Antonio Banderas, along with Sophia Ali and Tati Gabrielle. So streetwise, Nathan Drake is recruited by a seasoned treasure hunter, Sully Sullivan, to find Ferdinand Magellan's lost fortune of gold. It's rated PG-13, so it's fine for the kids, but I'm gonna be honest with you, if you are in the mood for a treasure hunting adventure, I would actually recommend looking to classics like The Goonies or mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Romancing the Stone, even National Treasure, and we have all of these in our collection, because this one just kind of well formulaic. There's just nothing new here. And even the charm of Marky Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland can't make it anything more. Uh, it's fine. It's funnish, but mostly it's kind of been there, done that. So I give it two milk duds on my scale of one to four milk duds. It was probably fun to make, I hope, uh, paid the bills for them. <laughs> but uh, if you're a grown up looking for that kind of kid like action adventure, check out another new pick that we've got The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, starring the kooky Nicolas Cage, who plays himself in this movie. And he is truly in on um, the joke about Nick Cage. It is wacky, it is fun. There are some swears, so it's rated R, but it's a good time. Uh, but even so, Uncharted, you know, you go ahead and check it out. See what you think. If you disagree with me, please let me know. Next up, Morbius. Morbius, oh my. Morbius stars the fragile, wide-eyed Jared Leto. It's part of the Marvel Universe, but more specifically part of the Spider-Man Universe. Morbius is an anti-hero who gains superhuman strength and power when his experiments with splicing vampire bat genes into human genes goes, you guessed it, awry. <laughs> <laughs> he's an anti-hero anti because his intentions are good. He's smart, he's a good-hearted doctor just trying to cure a rare blood disease. But I'll be straight with you, um, Morbius, it isn't that good. I mean, check the internet. So I'm not alone on that one. Like Uncharted, it's fine, but it's nothing new. Uh, if anything, you should see it so that you can appreciate its second life as a pretty funny internet meme. <laughs> this one is rated PG-13, but parents, it's got some ultra violence and blood and scary vampire faces in it. So FYI. Okay. Next on my list, Dog. This one's rated PG-13, and it stars Channing Tatum, and I'm not usually a fan of schmaltzy, hallmarky kinds of movies, but of all these movies, this was the one that I expected to like the least and wound up liking the most. It's a story about a former army ranger Channing Tatum, and he's tasked with delivering a former military canine of his fallen friend to his friend's funeral miles away. So they set out on a road trip that ultimately heals and saves them both. You know, like the other movies, it's not really groundbreaking, um, but it's just told well. It's charming, it's genuine, it's heartfelt, and it was a pleasure to watch. This one I definitely would recommend, and I'll go ahead and give it three Milk Duds out of my four Milk Duds system. I do, however, want to pop right back to Marky Mark Wahlberg for a second and give an honorable mention to another Just In title. I haven't watched it yet, but I have it right here, and I'm so excited something a little bit more deserving of Mark Wahlberg's talent as a drama guy. It's called Father Stu, and it follows the life of Father Stu Long, who's a boxer turned priest who inspired just a countless number of people during his own difficult journey from self-destruction to redemption. This one looks like some pretty good stuff. I'm excited about this. And uh, it is in our media bank and ready for you to check out. And one final one, another one that I've got here, and I'll pop it open. 
because that's not a fascinating visual if I don't. Uh, this one is an amazing looking drama. This one stars Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman and it's called The Father. It's about an aging man who is refusing his daughter's assistance as he struggles to make sense of his world as dementia sets in. This one is nominated for Oscars for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Um, how could it not be nominated with, uh, with folks like that? It looks pretty heavy, but it also looks pretty amazing. So that one, along with countless other goodies, are sitting on our shelves and in our media banks waiting for you to check out, not to mention all of the movies that you can stream from our digital platforms. So you don't even have to go outside in this heat. You can do it all right from home. Lots of good stuff. Nice, nice, wonderful. Well, thank you, Tracy, as always. I love the Milk Dud ratings. I hey, thanks, that. thanks. We're gonna have to keep, we're gonna have to roll with that now moving forward. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Okay. But hey, you know, even though some of the movies are, eh, it's free. It's here at your library. You can pick it up at the drive up. You don't have to get out into the heat necessarily. Just hop in your car, pick it up, pop it in, have a nice Friday Eve movie with the family or even Friday night uh, movie night at home. So perfect, 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 great opportunities. And then you mentioned some were, were streamable, correct? So, yes, I have yeah. one other quick note. Oh, I don't know if people know this, but I did want to mention that in our Library of Things collection, we have a whole bundle that you can check out and take home a great big screen and projector. You can have a backyard viewing party. You can take home some of these movies. You can take home whatever you want. You could stream that digital stuff and project it up on that screen. It's a really, really cool bundle in our library of things collection. And again, it's free and it's fun. It's free, <laughs> exactly. Awesome, well, I wanna thank all of my special guests and I appreciate all of you um, attending and sharing this wonderful information to all of our viewers out there. I wanna thank our viewers out there for uh, tuning in and uh, getting this information. And you know, we look forward to seeing all of you come visit the library and check out wonderful, wonderful materials, okay? And so I am your host, um, Dominique, here at GBTV Live, Just Ends, and we look forward to seeing you at the next episode. So everyone, take good care.